know all we have to do is not get 3-0'd. We can even go down 2-0 in the series, but if we can win game three, or at least one game in the first three, I can see us taking the series. The game types will play in our favor for four and five. You got Walshie putting in flag number three. He got stopped inches short. Pistola jumping in for the return. And Final Boss is gonna get the return and keep the flag out of their base. Great play out of Pistola and crew to stop that one short. And now Pistola's running at car three. And that was just a great route by Pistola. He spawned underneath his base and he ran straight bottom middle and did the front jump. That's, that's the keys you're looking for. That's the heads up plays. The flag is gonna be returned for both teams. So both flags at home you're watching as two members of Final Boss are down. Looks like three members from Carbon. Soldier trying to do work, but Ogre 2 is there as well and they're just gonna overwhelm this carbon squad and start to push out of their base. And this is the first time in this game where it's really been calmed down. The last two minutes have been some of the most hectic moments of Halo I've ever seen. It's literally just been constant shooting, just running around. Right now, Final Boss is trying to establish some sort of control on this map, trying to make some sense out of it. Three down for Carbon there. You see them all spawning pink one. The flag is being run Carbine. No one's gonna stop this one as Fear itself ties up the score at two. And Ogre 2 is running another flag, and they got control of pink one. This looks like a back-to-back -back cap here, Chris. And that's what Final Boss has been known to do. We got Ogre 2 going down, but three dead for Carbon still. Final Boss finally set up. They got the spawn trap, and Pistola's going to run in this third flag here for FB. They're trying to take the lead. Pistola taken down, but Ogre 2 puts it in. And there you see the score now showing 3-2 to two in favor of FB. Yeah, but right here, Carbon's making a mad dash into the F final boss base. Literally all four members of Carbon just did not stop. All holding forward right there. Final boss did not really know what to do right there to stop that. And Pistol was the last one alive, but he took Walshie's shields down. Walshie waited for his shields to come back before moving this flag. He kept it alive, and now it's bottom middle. But you'd think there with three down and Pistol having no angle, Walshie probably should have just moved that flag. I think that's going to hurt him there as they could have had the score tied, but I think it's going to go back, and there you see the return from FB, so Carbon's going to have to reset, try and restart, and get map control once again if they want to see another flag cap. And Final Boss has got to be happy right now with how Pistol is performing. He's returned two huge flag caps, and he's always being a thorn in the side of this Carbon squad. And that's expected coming from what I assume was the season MVP and also the, one of the MVPs of last tournament. In order for Pist or Final Boss to really pull this through, they're going to need a big performance out of Pistola. We got Ogre 2 going up against Walshie. Ogre 2 wins that battle. And now you see Victory X and Fear were lifting up. Victory is going to pick up the kill on Chig. Pistola takes down another player down in the base. You got Ogre 2 just chilling on the carbine side, guys. What's he up to? Well, you know, he's just really being an anchor for his team. This is exactly how he used to play in Halo 2. He used to always just put shots into the guys between two. Look, he's popping soldier shields, and now he gets help, and he's able to take down Chig. By doing this, his team can get full control of pink and then run the flag car. And Fear itself trying to run down SK. He's trying to stay alive. Walsh is trying to hide P1. Fear sniffed him out, got the headshot. Nice communication out of FB now. Starting to talk a little bit more, and the score is showing it as Victory is running flag number four through Carbine. And just a great play right there by FB, putting in that flag. The control they had on the map right there was awesome. They basically cornered Carbon into the lower parts of the map and just kind of cleaned up all the one shots. All right, guys, well, here we go. Final boss just one flag away from advancing to face off against SQ later on tonight. Carbon needing these next three flags to win the game and send it to game number five. The flag going out in the hands of Chig. He's running at P1. We're it looks like SK is there to support as well, and both of them are gonna go down. Walshi is there. They keep the flag alive momentarily, but it's up to Soldier and SK over on pink side to keep this flag alive. Fear itself is gonna get the flag return. And Pistol doing a great job staying alive at his base, now making his way top middle for some support here on SK, who's coming off the respawn. And you don't want Pistol at top middle because he's, he's hard enough to kill one-on-one -on -one without a wall. You put him top middle on a bouncy little trampoline, he's impossible Well, he kill. just got a huge stick, which is gonna free up SK to run the flag number five. Here we go, he gets it back to his base, taking the car side. Victory probably gonna go down, the flag is stopped. Fear is there, can Soldier get the return? He can. The flag's still there, finally gets returned. No, no it didn't. Final boss trying to rally it in. There's Walshie, Captain Clutch. Gets the double kill, has two guys left in front of him, hits the insta-spoke, cleans up kill number three. 
and now he's running the flag while Walshie is playing on top of his game right now, guys. Yeah, just like you said in the Hot Pockets pregame show, Walshie has to be Captain Clutch in order for him to win this series. And right there, what a better play for Captain Clutch, getting the double kill, returning the flag, getting an insta explode, and starting to run his own flag hat. Single-handedly killing three players and stopping the flag, but Pistola's gonna return that flag attempt here from Carbon. Carbon really just needs to focus. Don't get trapped in your base. Push out on pink side, take map control, and stay alive here. If final boss gets three down again, you know they're gonna pull that flag and they'll most likely convert. They've got it back to their base twice so far, but Carbon coming up clutch with some nice returns. You see Walshy making his way pink too. This is exactly what they need. They have three FB members down. is going to take down Walshy and P2, but he's taken down as well. Victory X and Ogre 2 going up against Chig and SK right now. And the thing I'm noticing about Walshy is last event, we saw him get very, very emotional on our Friday night kickoff, but he seems to be calm, cool, and collective, which is the Walshy we're used to seeing. Yeah, we talked about it. Walshy's a player that plays off of confidence. If he's not confident, it's really going to show in his gameplay. You can tell right now, the look on his face, he's confident right now in his team, he's confident in his own ability, and that's why he's playing so well. Here itself tried to run the flag, Carbine side, Pistola sitting up top middle, trying to stop SK from returning it. SK gets the return, but Ogre 2 and Pistola converging on players over car side. FB with another great push, even with two of their teammates down. And that's exactly what we're gonna be looking for with a team of the caliber of Final Boss. It only takes two players on their team and great teamwork to really destroy another team. And right there, Ogre 2 and Pistola worked incredibly well together to make sure the post stayed alive. Yeah, it looked like in this series, Final Boss came out flat, guys. They looked sloppy in those first two games, but they're really turning it on now. They're looking like the team that just won our last event in DC. Fear itself running in flag number five. He's got one shot left in his shield, and he's gonna put it in. Final Boss will advance in a very tough matchup against Carbon here in round one. So taking a look at the stats, I got your pistol, had a terrible game, only putting up plus 20. Jesus. <laughs> On the other side, you got Chig and SK both going positive. Pistola, really the MVP of that game, guys. He got back-to-back -back killing sprees. Every life he did, he was always in the other team's base. That is a scary Pistola going into this event. Yeah, looking at those stats, plus 20. No one else in the game even coming close to him, the highest being plus three. On the blue team, even, it's, if Pistola's playing like this, he's, he's going to win the MVP of this tournament. On the other side, Carbon, they are going to drop down to the loser's bracket. They are not out here at MLG. It's double elimination. So, guys, remember, final boss went down early from the winner's bracket. They dropped to the loser's bracket early last event. They could make a run if they ca catch fire. Carbon looking stronger than we've ever seen them so far this season. I think they could actually do a lot of damage in that loser's bracket. I loved watching those series because it finally realized that Carbon does have the ability, it, it does have the talent to play against these top teams like that. They just need the confidence in order to play against these teams. We need to see Chig return to his championship level. Soldier got second with Classic last of year. He can return to a championship level. SK has been winning tournaments for a while, and Walsh is just a great player in general. If they start meshing and start playing well, they are a dangerous team. I mean, they have the carbon name. We are known for having turnarounds come <laughs> championship time. It's the science. You really think the name in the science is going to help you out? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, final <laughs> boss moves on. They will be playing status quo later on tonight. But now it's time to find out who will be playing Triggers Down coming up at 345 Central Time. We have the awesome matchup between Instinct and Warriors. Can the underdogs pull off another upset? We'll find out. We'll be back in a bit.